it's like these guys, you know, I can bring this into it, you know, who talk about Tonkat Ali or, you know, all these like, what is it, t- Turkesterone? I mean, all these like mm-hmm. testosterone booster supplements. I mean, all of them are bogus. To optimize yourself, you know, as you say, exercise, diet, sleep, maybe do the sauna. Obviously, that only gives a transitory rise and IGF-1, but um, what is it, DHEA, that's meant to be kind of like the kind of poor man's growth hormone, just doing things like that. Do you think arginine maybe, just to try and before before testing, see what you can kind of get your levels to? So this is my opinion. I've done all those things, and those things are a joke. Okay. They don't do jack shit. I mean, like, you know, Andrew Huberman goes out there and I don't care. You can p- please post this because I would love to get up on a stage and debate that guy about anything <laughs> at any time. He has no shot against me. But the reality is, like, when he talks about, you know, and, and I'm just paraphrasing because I don't follow him and I don't listen to any of that. But like when he talks about 4000 times increase in growth hormone from like a you know, infrared sauna. I, I mean, again, I'm just paraphrasing and I don't want you to like put my words in the mouth, but I've heard, you know, all these people like send me stuff and they're like, he says all this, that's all complete nonsense. And, and truthfully, if any of it was real, it's a transient elevation. Hmm. So it's not going to create any kind of performance enhancement or health optimization over time. It's like these guys, you know, I can bring this into it, you know, who talk about Tonkat Ali or, you know, all these like, what is it? T- Turkesterone. I mean, all these like mm-hmm. testosterone booster supplements. I mean, all of them are bogus. I've, I've tested every one of them for my book, which is still the number one selling book of all time on hormone optimization. It's got the science and the data and the truth and all of these things that quote unquote, supposedly boost testosterone or, you know, elevate free testosterone or improve libido. And remember we have to separate libido and testosterone are separate. Just because somebody gets an increase in libido has absolutely nothing to do with whether or not they get their testosterone uh, elevated or optimized. And when you look at all these things, again, in the research, in all of the studies that have ever been done on any of them, none of them ever have done anything other than show a transient increase or elevation, which again, is not supported in enhancing anybody's you know testosterone levels over time. And that's what obviously every guy is looking for. So um, you know, all these people out there promoting these things, it's an absolute scam. It's always been a scam. I mean, they've been selling since they were selling testosterone, you know, uh, what do they call it? Um, bowl testicles in the thirties in, in Germany, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, or they were selling glandular bowl testicles or something shit like that, you know? So it just, it never ends. You know, people will go out and they'll say like, Oh, well in this study and look, Tonkat Ali and whatever the other one is, uh, that well, they're for, all, for those uh, yeah, rest us, yeah, yeah. So those do increase um, libido, like in the studies where they give to men, you know, over time, there are, you know, randomized controlled trials where men feel, um, you know, enhancement in libido. But I always say, like, we also know the placebo effect is real. The mind controls our reality. We create our reality with our thoughts. So if you want to take a supplement and say, I know this is going to do this, and then go out and live that life or that experience, thinking that, and you're power, you're, you're you know, you're a powerful creator or manifester, then of course you're going to get that. But none of these people are going to take these supplements and optimize their te- their testosterone levels like they would if they were using therapeutic testosterone or you know some of the analogs that you know that are also out there that are medications that improve fertility, like HCG or clomiphene or enclomiphene or even some of the peptides that, you know, have been shown to increase LH and FSH, which are like tryptorelin, gonorelin. Uh, there's one other one I can't think of right now. Um, it's escaping me, but you know, uh, all of those peptin, is it kiss, kiss peptin. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Good job. Very good. Yeah. So all of those things, um, you know, over time used therapeutically are going to show a much greater effect than any of the testosterone boosting supplements. And look, the truth is too, and this is what people don't ever talk about. You know, I will is that the the drugs are cheaper. Right, right. <laughs> well, it sounds sounds like I saved myself a whole bunch of money. I often get asked, um, "Did I do much experimentation?" Because I jumped on TRT two years ago, and then I didn't. I just got the low level reading, and I just went went on it. And then I let my levels crash just recently for six weeks, as like a washout to go with another clinic. Which you which you know the guy. Um, Mike, Mike, Mike yeah, 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 balance, yeah, 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 then, balance my hormones, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. and so I let let it crash, and then funny enough, my lunizing hormone was 
like you know actually off off the scale and so fine yeah, yeah, yeah it was really it was really high when i let it crash but obviously but my still my tea didn't was really really low hypogonadal so yeah, sound like yeah. I, I could have just gone through a bit of a wild goose chase trying to raise it two years ago and spent a low, load of money and just print. I mean, a lot of guys do, bro. I mean, look, a lot of guys do go on those goose chases. And when they confide in me, when they get to me, it's usually out of desperation at that point. And then they'll be like, yeah, not only did it not work, I also lost a lot of hair. <laughs> you know? So it's like, you know that they're, again, it goes back to like, what is even in the ingredients? You know what I'm saying? Like you think it's fenugreek and terkesterone and you know this, that, and the other magnesium glyconate or whatever. But what really is it? You know what I mean? Like if it's causing you to lose your hair, you know that's a big question mark right then and there. Is it like some sort of a you know DHT inhibitor? Is there something else in there? I mean, like it's a that's a whole other conversation. But like that's what I'm saying is like I don't trust that. But if I get a 10 milliliter you know vial of testosterone ananthate or sipinate or propionate. And I know it's coming from a pharmacy. And even if it's not coming from a pharmacy, it's coming from like an undermark, you know, underground gray market source. I pretty much know it's legit. And then it's mm -hmm. going to raise my free and total testosterone. And I'm going to feel pretty good from it. Right. Versus like taking these supplements. But again, fear and loathing makes people not do it. And then also, and you know, that, and this is a whole other podcast because I talk about this all the time, but I mean, doctors screwing people up.